All right, guys, this is a special request for the DV-1 base gun. One of you guys asked me if I could show you my settings on the gun. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't use this gun that much anymore now that I use the 3M guns because I'm doing so many colors. I don't wanna have to clean guns all day. I wanna paint cars. So this is definitely a phenomenal gun. Don't get me wrong. This gun sprays better than the 3M gun for precision and atomization and different things like that. But the water base kind of levels out on its own. And to me, you really don't have to have such a uh, top of the line gun to spray it. So I'm uh, happy using the 3M gun, but we're gonna go over this gun and show you how great of a gun it really is and how nice of a fan, how I set it up. And uh, it'll spray any way you want it to. So I'm gonna take you in the booth. We got a load of just miscellaneous stuff I'm doing and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this gun out. So let's go show you what we're doing first. All right, so we got a couple parts in here for a, a Ford Fusion, just a white, and uh, we got a little bit of base on them. And then we got a little bumper cap here, 3R3, Toyota Red. And we've also got one of the uh, Tesla wings in a silver, that's already done. So we've already got that dry in. We're doing code 085 here on this Lexus three stage and we're already rolling on that as well. So I'm gonna show you here just real quick on the 3R3 what I do with this gun and how I set it up. So it's just a basic setup and uh, we'll go over that now, so. All right, so first thing I do is I grab the gun and I go ahead and back out my screw, pull the screw all the way out, just go ahead and turn in the screw pull the trigger on it and turn in the screw till you feel it hit the trigger once it hits I'm done with it so as far as the uh, fan turn it all the way out and I turn it in one turn for the fan because this thing has a really big fan and to me it's not necessary that big because a lot of times you'll blow overspray uh, too far on your blend panels and stuff like that but this is definitely one of the best guns out for the base coat and you guys know that I'm a fan of it. It's just when you're doing a lot of colors and in and out of the booth all day long and be cleaning guns, that takes hours of your day of uh, losing it on painting and actually just cleaning your gun. So I'd rather use the 3M gun and when the heads get bad, you change them out and you roll. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one. We've got it adjusted and then we'll show you here. I run this gun at 15 PSI and then when I do a control code, I drop it down to 12. So we're gonna go in there. I'm just gonna spray that little piece with it, but you guys will see how nice of a fan it sprays and how nice it lays it down. So it may be a little different if you're using this gun for a uh, solvent, but I'm spraying the water base with it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so you see that gun definitely sprays it down nice and it puts it down really wet. And you guys see I went with a back-to-back -back wet coat on this thing to get coverage on it. We're gonna let this one set up and uh, cure fully. And then we'll put two drop coats and this will be done. So this is 3R3 over a light gray um, sealer to get the color that I'm desired with. So, but you can't beat the gun. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of colors so to me, it's easier to go ahead and use the 3M gun. The heads come off, you can change them, clean them out really good. And the latex doesn't stick very good to the plastic. It cleans out of there very, very easy. So they're hard to beat those guns. These do definitely spray with a, a better precision coat and it lays it down a little bit less blotchy, but there's ways to work that out with the 3M gun. So I'm definitely a fan of the gun and uh, I use it here and there 
and uh, when I got something big and I really want to fine tune something, maybe an overall or something, I'll break this thing out. But it's too nice of a gun to, uh, to me to get all dirty all day when I can just change out the heads. But if you have one and you want to clean it and you don't do as much changing of colors all day, definitely a great gun. So I'll show you this thing uh, finished up here. This is a textured part, so it really won't be that glossy because these Toyotas have that factory texture in them. So we'll go ahead and finish it up, but that's the settings I use, 15 PSI, one turn in on the fan with a wide open fluid. Turn the screw till it hits the needle and you're ready to roll. So I'll show you this thing finished up. All right, all the base is on it. And you guys seen, I put two drop coats after those two full wet coats that I had on there. So we're gonna go ahead and clear it now with the DV1 with the 2021 and uh, we'll show it to you finished up. All right, so that's the DB1 base, and that's the settings that I use it as. And uh, definitely, to me, the best base gun out as a regular gun. But you guys know I said I use the 3M guns all the time on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm doing so many colors. But if you want to pick up a good base gun, I would definitely think that the uh, DB1 base is probably the best gun out on the market as far as I'm concerned for base code. So. Like I said, I haven't really used it much for the uh, solvents because it's been so many years since I've done a solvent job. And, uh, but for the water base, definitely one of the best guns out. So I hope you liked the little video. To the guy that was asking me what I do, that's what I do. So we'll see you on the next one.